Happy Friday, Glads. I'm Maddie Hager. And I'm Moose Santos, and this is your KWHS News. Here's the latest from the Counseling Center. The college visit lineup continues in February with these schools. Mark your calendars for Pikes Peak Community College on February 7th, then Fort Hayes State on Tuesday, February 13th. Colorado Mesa will be here on Valentine's Day, and UCCS plans to be here on Thursday, February 15th. Plan your visit with Adams State on Thursday, February 22nd, and finally, Lamar Community College will close out February on Friday, February 23rd. Seniors interested in attending PPCC in the fall, stop by the Counseling Center to sign up for the PPCC Application Day on Thursday, February 15, 2018. PPCC reps will be here to help you fill out the application. They'll be back on Wednesday, April 11th to help you with registration. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, cosmetology classes are coming to WHS next year. If you're interested, put your name on a list for more information by stopping at the Counseling Center. Seniors, mark your calendar for the Senior Panoramic Photo on Tuesday, February 6th at 7 a.m. in Bowers Gym. If you haven't picked up your senior class shirt yet, those are still available in the Counseling Center for $15. Get yours today and wear it for your senior picture. And remember seniors, if you want your photos included in the yearbook or the senior slideshow, send them to Curie Carmody at this email. Photos must be of seniors only. Credit recovery sign up is now open. If you dropped the ball and need to make up a failed credit to graduate on time, Credit Recovery is for you. This is an online program where you can make up your credits in just eight weeks. There is a $100 tuition fee per course, and you can take two courses per session. The spring session starts on February 12th, so you should get registered now. To register, go to the District Programs page on the WSD3.org site, select High School Credit Recovery, and get started recovering those credits. There will be a mandatory orientation for credit recovery in the WHS cafeteria February 7th at 3.30. Coming up, we're checking in with Miss Betsy and her guests for the lunch menu for today. Happy Friday, everybody! Hey, everybody! We're here to let you know what's on the menu for today and on Monday. Take it away. Friday, roast chicken and mashed taters and gravy. Sunday dinner, baby. <laughs> You'll be liking that. And then on Monday, it's hot wings. So come on down and see us. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye! Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, if you need to add money to your lunch account, you can do it online or see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. When we come back, we'll have club news. But first, we're throwing it to Daniel Robinson for our Gladiator Sports update. Finally Friday, Glads. I'm Daniel Robinson with your Gladiator Sports Update. Winter sports are winding down their seasons and several spring sports are drumming up interest before practices start. Mark these meetings and contacts on your calendar if you're interested in participating. If you're interested in joining the boys swim and dive team, check in with Miss Wickberg in room 110 for the details. Ladies interested in playing soccer, see Miss Sardinia for team information. Baseball season is around the corner too. Guys interested in playing baseball, that meeting will be on Monday, January 29th at 7 p.m in the WHS cafeteria. This meeting is for players and parents. Football team off-season workouts are underway. See Coach O in Bowers Gym for the schedule. And finally, if you're interested in track this year, see Coach Majerison in Bowers Gym for those details. Good luck to the forensics team as they travel to Pueblo tomorrow morning for their meet. We expect to have results on Monday to let you know how they did. Here's some news from the NJRTC desk. Our Corps of Cadets is hosting its first ever drill meet this Saturday from 9 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. And it's free. Junior ROTC units from Montrose, Colorado, Los Alamos, New Mexico, Fountain Fort Carson, Doherty, Mesa Ridge, Canyon City, and Denver's George Washington are scheduled to compete. If you can pop in to watch the competition, our cadets would appreciate it. The wrestling team was in Canyon City last night and turned in some respectable places. Our grapplers tangle with the Tigers once more on February 2nd. In swimming news, the ladies jump in the Air Academy High School pool this afternoon in a meet against the Rampart Rams. Keep swimming, ladies. Now here's Doc with our health tip of the week. Hi guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. So, it's starting to get a little cold. I want to talk to you about heater safety. So, we have heaters in our house. It could be a gas furnace, it could be electric. 
If you have gas furnace, then that means you have natural gas that flows through the pipes and comes into your house. If you ever smell a weird smell, let an adult know immediately because that's very dangerous. Natural gas can explode. It can also cause people to be poisoned and that's not a very good outcome for you. So we wanna make sure you stay safe. Other things, if you have a little plug-in heater, make sure you unplug it when you're not gonna be around the house. These are causes for fire many times. Lastly, if you're warming up your car, never, never warm up your car in a closed garage. It does create carbon monoxide, and carbon monoxide is poisonous gas that can not only harm you inside of the car, but it can harm the others in your family inside the house. So if you're heating up your car because it's cold outside, make sure the garage door is open. Make sure you're staying safe around those heaters, and you're keeping warm in the best possible way. Thanks, Doc. That's some great advice. In basketball news, our Lady Glads traveled to Sierra on Thursday night and slayed the Stallions. The ladies take the court next week on Wednesday against our Purple Rivals in Bowers at 6 p.m. Our men's basketball team was home last night against the Sierra Stallions and shook the court for the win. Our Glads are also at home next week against a Purple Rival at 7.30. Glads, we have just a few more basketball games on the schedule and we need to fill the stands. If these scores don't make you want to check out our basketball teams, check out this this video of TJ Davis against the Canyon City Tigers on Tuesday. If you can't make it, we'll have scores for you next week, but we want to see you on Wednesday in Bowers for the live action. Remember, it's a blue out game. That's it for our sports update. Good luck to all of our sports teams. Have a great weekend. I'm Daniel Robinson. Now back to you, Maddie and Moose. Thanks, Daniel. Since we're in scheduling mode, there are several really great opportunities available next year. Here is some information for your consideration. First, KWHS News wants you. Applications are now available in room 102 if you would like to join our staff. See Mrs. Noop soon because applications are due next Friday, February 2nd. The yearbook also needs a few good staff members too. To join that crew, pick up an application from Mrs. Kennedy in room 104 ASAP. These applications are due by next Wednesday, January 31st. Sophomores and juniors, the teacher cadet applications are available in room 202 for a missed ship. Time is running out, so get your application quickly. If you are interested in the STEP program for next year, Mrs. Griggs is holding an informational meeting today at lunch in room 131. And finally, Renaissance applications are now available on the school wires page. Everyone is eligible to apply this time, including freshmen. All applications are due Wednesday, February 7th to Ms. Sardinia in room 130, no later than 3 p.m. No late applications will be accepted. See Mr. Daniel for more information. Just a reminder, Student Union is open again in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. Be sure you have a sticker on your ID. Students and teachers, golden tickets are coming soon. Teachers, remember to hand out your golden ticket to that one student among all your students who deserves it. Students, if you're the lucky recipient of a golden ticket, remember to deposit it for a chance to win some very cool prizes. And finally, remember GLADS, next Wednesday is a blue out day for the rival basketball game. If you dress in gladiator gear, see Ms. Melton in room 103 by 7th hour to enter a drawing for tickets to both games. Winners will be announced at the end of the day. That's all for our news today. Have a great Friday. I'm Maddie Hager. And I'm Moose Santos. And this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.